MW3 shots here. I'm I know it's, I know it's a bit of a late video tonight, but I've only just decided to do this. We're gonna go down to St. Mellon's Seawall, just chill down there, vape for a bit, and I think uh, I'm gonna do a bit of vlogging. Marshfield Seawall. I don't care. I'm from Lamron, he doesn't bother me. Uh, yeah. we'll notify you guys when we get It'll there. It'll be Derry Might and uh, his elder, elder brother, he's in the car right now, he's gonna drop us down. And we'll catch you when we get there, guys. Peace. Guys, sorry we weren't recording in the car. We've literally just got here, just so you all know. And it li it's literally so peaceful. I mean, you can hear the waves in the background. We've got Mike's brother just in the back the far distance going on the phone. But today, weirdly, I'm going to be vaping on my normal standard vape, but I'm also going on the Jomo Tech 40 Lite, I believe. I'm not going to be vaping on anything because I need to go foils, yeah. Sorry. I do There's a... one thing I didn't bring with me. What's that? <laughs> I shall be doing a more in-depth view of this uh, Jomo Tech 40 Lite when we get back to my brother's house. But for now, we're just going to chill and vape for a little while then decide whether when we want to go back. Because I tell you what, guys, I'm going to turn this camera around and show you lot what it's like out here. It's really lovely and holy fuck look at Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I can't change the camera guys but you just missed it. My brother just went flying. <laughs> oh fuck. Please tell me you can see him in the background. Oh my fuck! <laughs> well done, dumbass! I want to go see if he's actually okay. I will now. Alright guys, let's check if he's okay. I'm gonna go running after him. Bro, watch my vapes! Ah, fucking hell. I hate my Olivia. Are yeah. <laughs> you <Hello>. okay? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we sat down, down there like we were. <laughs> All I see is you. <laughs> and then fall. <laughs> How did you even manage that? <laughs> to fall. My phone fell. I was like, oh shit, my phone. And I slept. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you die next time. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, I think he's been smoking weed. He has. I want some! <laughs> ah! Whoa! Weirdly, I am using the Vepresso tank on here. But, for some reason, it feels like it's loose. What, well, Mike? Yeah, he dropped his phone and then he fell. <laughs> uh, I'm literally just sat back down now with Mike. He is literally in the middle of building a new coil for which but is Bonza. This should be interesting. Where the fuck did Marcus go? <laughs> I told you, really. <laughs> no, fuck it, guys. I'm gonna vape a bit more. My my actual mod, I love using. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Have so. Oh, I went for building the bombs. Uh, <laughs> Screws out and so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna untighten them together. Uh, fuck me. It's so peaceful out here. I can literally just stay here for the night. What? I mean, we could, but it's rather market to pick it up when we wake up. Plus, we wanted to do a few videos on the division, too, anyways. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen my other videos, check them out. Literally, in all of my descriptions, if you've looked at them, I'm always putting subscribe to your channel in there. Holy shit, this tank actually fits on here with no overhang. Yeah. I'm really surprised about that. Yeah. 
this deck has always been in the middle of the Yeah. But now I got it. It's like, um... Yeah. Oh, what the hell are they doing? Yes, I'm not. Fucking hell, ASMR, yeah, of the fucking waves. You know what, I'm gonna go for a little walk, alright bro? Psh, you got that. I gotta do a build when we get back to yours, if you remember. Uh, what? Good, you always have! <laughs> I don't know, he's probably sat in the car, I'll go and have a look for him. Fuck's sake, guys. Marcus just keeps on disappearing. Let's go and see if I can find him, yeah? Oh, bloody hell, muddy. Ah, I've run upstairs. Ah, oh, there he is. He's coming back from the car now, apparently, for some reason. But nah. The only reason why I wanted to have a little walk around and speak to you guys is solely because. I'm enjoying what I'm doing now, YouTube and everything like that. You know, just sat here vaping, doing some vlogs. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me, sorry about that, guys. But I just wanted to let you all know as well that I'm not going to be doing this for about a couple of months after, in two months' time. As I'm following another dream of mine, which I've had since I was like nine, which is going into the army. And I'm not going to lie, it's going to be tough for me to do that, guys, because I'm loving where I'm at at the moment, chilling with my brother, just going out every other night, coming to places like this, the seawall down at St. Melons. And I tell you what, it's been one of the best experiences of my life so far, just chilling with mates and everything. Ooh, some ducks. Look, there's ducks. Wah. But yeah, guys, it's like going to be really difficult for me to say goodbye to everyone. So if you can, like, I know for those who are watching, like my brother Mike, Marcus, um, I should, my other, my mates as well from college, if they watch, I just want you all to know that I'm really grateful for what you've done, being there around for my life as well, helping me through things that most people just won't means a lot guys thanks for everything and especially you mike my brother helping me through everything i mean i know i disappeared for two years when i had a missus and everything and then she cheated on me and i came back and i know i wasn't talking to you or nothing but you welcomed me back in big uh, hugging arms and everything it means a lot honestly so yeah i wanted to have this one-to-one -one with you guys as you know shit happens just never turn your back on family i know when you come back they'll always be there but honestly never ever turn your back on family guys family is priority don't worry about girlfriends friends that are going to mistreat you as soon as you find that one friend that you can call family keep him, him or her in your life forever and that's as much as i'm going to say on that part of it thanks for listening guys uh, this vlog i tell you First vlog I'm doing properly, vaping video vlog. Fuck you, ducks! Marcus is still alive, if you'll focus. Still alive! Woo! Yeah, he's still alive, but he's cammed up because he's black, apparently. <laughs> That's just mean. But yeah, guys. I've just been enjoying vaping, chilling. All sorts like that, innit? Just hope all of you guys are vaping. I mean, if you are vaping, give me an idea of what you're vaping on. I know today I look like shit, but I've been in all day looking after my little pup. But yeah, it's things we've got to do, innit? I'm now going to return to my brother Mike. See if I can help him out as much as I can with his tanks. Because he wants to rebuild decks on them. 
Let's get this shit sorted so he can vape. You alright, bro? What? Yeah, that's good. Sorry I walked off. Just speaking to the viewers for a little bit. Seriously. You gonna take it back? This little Aspire mod, Mike's brother Marcus stole off of him. He, he finally admitted it, but uh, good thing is he gave it back, so... Yeah. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> the liquid, I forgot about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even Mike's tank, but Marcus had the most horrible liquid in there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, Mike, I need a new tank for this. <laughs> it's pissing me off. Uh. Yeah, it's pissing me off. Life. <laughs> what one was in here again? <laughs> oh, that's tobacco. Ugh. That tastes worse than that. Guys, today the flavours I will be vaping on is, you know, as standard, my good old sour lemon flavour. But I shall also be vaping on my iced lemonade at 3 milligrams of nicotine. Because, you know, the grind don't stop. Sorry about that. Forget attack of the titans. Attack of the coils! Yeah! <laughs> I'm only on one bar battery. <laughs> I'm pissed. Hey, you did. One second, guys. I shall come back in a second. You'll be a second for me, about five minutes. But I shall catch you in a second. Okay, guys, and I am back. <laughs> I've sort of switched out my box mod now, got my good old tank on there, you know, the dead rabbit, or drop dead sorry, but I'm vaping on a, what, what box mod is this bro? Tesla 2 sub ohm. Wait, what sub ohm? Yeah, it's a sub mod on there, fuck. But it's made for these bad boys, RDAs, and it's got a slight bit of overhang on the sides, but nothing to worry about. Bastards. I mean, lovely people. Holy shit. Told you. But I've just realised I've got fucking closed airflow completely. One second. There we go, guys. Oh, Fuck me. That is amazing, bro. Look at him makeshift fucking torch using the phone in his knee. <laughs> Lightweight. Now nah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, I think until we get back to Mike's, I'm gonna end it there for now. You'll catch us in about a few seconds, but for us, it'll be a good 20 seconds, so, peace. Hey guys, we're back now, we just got back home. <laughs> yeah, just don't <laughs> ask. <laughs> if you really want to know, inbox me on Instagram, Snapchat, or Messenger. I will answer and I'll tell you what happened. I really don't feel like explaining right now, because head's all over the shop, isn't it, bro? My head is all stiff right now. <laughs> yeah, this is just literally a hit or miss right here. <laughs> I literally was, yeah. 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 <laughs> right, it's a fucking curb. <laughs> but nah, I'm using this little mod, the Tesla 2 sub mod with my tank, the Drop Dead RDA. And I'm using the Vape Presso X, um, no, the Vape Presso Ravenger X, 
with a Kylin Mini RTA on top. Which we literally just finished building about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, uh, for you guys that don't know what an RTA is, it's a really buildable tank atomizer. It's basically like my deck. So how you got somewhere. RDAs um, and you build coils in the RDAs is basically the same, but you got it in tank form, so you've always got liquid around it. And it's the same rules apply um, with uh, the RTA is you build your own coil uh, and the amount of watts you can go up to depends on how well you build that coil. Uh, the Kylin Mini on one hand is only a single coil build which rather weird. than a dual coil build which not many people would go for as, um, not like seeing how it works. <laughs> as they'd think you know it's a single coil it might not have this uh, nice flavour it might not produce as big as cloud, but um, I'm, I'm here to prove you all wrong. How many watts is that? So that is the Kylin Mini on 45 watts, if you can believe it. Only 45. That would be, uh, what, about 60 watts on, uh, on the RDA dual coil. Yeah. Which just shows the cow production and the flavour is as good as an RDA. Immense. Uh, the Kylin Mini is relatively good for flavour as uh, with the build deck they've got the uh, a kind of horseshoe semicircle. Oh, I wish I took a picture of it now. It's like a horseshoe semicircle kind of build which allows you to have full airflow around the bottom of uh, the RDA allowing a lot of air to get into it which gives you that extra flavour. But and a different bit of a side note, this is a <laughs> Vigard mech mod that blew up a few years ago. Years ago. We've still he still Mike still got it, but if you'd like us to do a little review on this at what some point I've No been, I've been worried about it, but I'll do it. I'll risk my life to do it. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, this RDA, I discovered it's a maze, no, it's a mesh, not a maze, like what I've been calling it. What confuses me about the two is that the maze <coughs> RDA is an RDA with a mesh build inside of it. So that's why I didn't think it was, uh, that's why I thought this was the maze and not the mesh, as it's not got a mesh build inside of it, if that makes any sense. So... Correcting myself, it is a mesh, Dumbass. and you can clearly tell, at, well you can't clearly tell, um, but it's got a flat surface, which I found out something interesting about why this has got a flat surface, which I've not actually told you, H. Oh fucking hell, there we go. This has got a flat <coughs> surface build deck, so it allows you to use both RDA coils and mesh builds. Because mesh builds go like that, don't they? All in one. As what a mesh is, is basically like... A uh, piece of metal. It's like netted metal. So it's got a, a, a flat deck, so you can just put the metal across with the cotton in the middle and you're ready to go. So that's why that's called the mesh. We should try and get some mesh and just see what it's like at some point. Yeah, I might, but I like using RDAs. Oh yeah, I do, but like it would be nice to see what the mesh is like on there. 45 watts, can you believe it? And this is a fairly, as you can see, very open room. So if I do my cloud in H's direction, sorry, you might get covered in cloud. I'm used to it by now. You've been so long. Hi. <laughs> 45 watts, you can't go wrong. It can you go just higher. Can't beat it. You can go higher, but as I've only just put the coil in here, I'm waiting for the cotton to, to, stop being uh, tasted. to, to filter properly to get less um, air bubbles inside of it so I know the cotton's uh, fit and ready to be used to its full potential. I really then I'd probably up the watts to around about 50 to 60 but I wouldn't go higher than that. As I mentioned, it is a single coil so I won't be able to go as high <laughs> of a build it as a dual this. coil. Yeah, it would work good on the Tesla, as the Tesla that H has demonstrated is um, 
an unregulated mod, which means it's not got adjustable wattage such as this one. So what you have is what you get. Um, it's obviously better with a full charge. You get more of the power. The, yeah, I've been using it today. The uh, more you use it, the more battery you go through, the more voltage Never! drop. Never! The, the, more... the more you say the battery goes. <laughs> Yeah, but um, oh, what? you smart ass motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, you end up getting voltage drop the more you use it, which means oh, that there's yeah. not as much of a ramp up time, which means your cloud production will lower as the battery decreases. Which is the only downside from unregulated, whereas regulated is more consistent as you set the amount of watts you want, and your mod will try and perform to that amount of watts until uh, the battery deadlines. Like I say though, I hope you guys literally watch all of this. There's a lot of different aspects. We went out for a long time <laughs> <laughs> to a seawall. Um, and I managed to get my coil belt at the end. But it still tastes like cotton. Yeah. Didn't get to vape on that much, but that's mostly Marcus's fault. <laughs> Marcus, if you're watching, unlucky kid. <laughs> Mission failed, we'll get him next time. He'll try and put the blame on me, but I had nothing to do with it. Just, just silence. Uh, I've been trying to do the jellyfish for so long. Can you? I seriously thought that was only one nostril. Oh no, that's two, just obviously I've got a broken nose. That I didn't know about. So yeah, that's fun. I love doing the dragon. Yeah, I was doing it in my house earlier before you guys came. So yeah, what's your opinion on the Tesla? Now that you've used it for practically a day. Uh... <laughs> Like it says, Tesla sub mod, but it obviously comes with a sub ohm. But no, it doesn't. It should. Sure. Don't judge me. The, the the Tesla when I did get it did not come with a sub ohm tank. It came with a Tesla by itself, which is a rip. Should be. A I'm kit. pretty sure if you look at the bottom, yeah, it tells you the battery size as well as how many watts it goes up to. Um, so. Uh, this has a 1400 ohm battery, uh, which is relatively good for uh, when the mods came out. It's quite an old mod. I've had this for about three, four, uh, coming up to four years now. It That's is, like a lot of our mods. It is a, a, a 100 water, uh, which is insane for such a small mod. In comparison to, if I can just uh, show you, the Vapresso, look at the size difference, both in height and width. It's well, quite, width is about the same. I mean, I'd still say it's a lot skinnier, <laughs> it's a lot well fitted for your hand than this. It's a lot lighter uh, and more portable. Yeah. And it is a five, uh, 5 volt battery charge at the bottom there. Which is a minor annoyance considering they got all the space along the side they could exactly. have put the charging port, but they put it at the bottom, which you minor annoyance, but at the same time, you you, you can't really complain. Well, you can. I am. Uh, we always complain. We're <coughs> British. And the way you can tell the battery on this, if I'm not sure if H was aware, so it's like two clicks. Uh, no, actually, as you press the button, you got that LED light in there. And change yeah, as you use it, the LED light in does change color from blue to amber to red to red. To and nothing. no, it doesn't even go to nothing. What it ends up doing when it's unable to use, when you turn it on, it'll flash red three times and then turn itself off. The good thing about this regulated mod also is that it's got its own safety feature. So, so I go kaboom like this can. Yeah. So. <laughs> As it's got its own safety feature, you can do long drags, but if it thinks, hang on a minute, this drags a little bit too long, I might be overheating, it'll completely cut out your uh, your drag. 
and you're you're basically be inhaling nothing, and you'll be able to obviously feel when it cuts out, and it does uh, beep twice on the blue screen when it does it to let you know that it's um, overheating. But straight after that, you can take another drag, Just be and it, it it won't uh, it won't put you in danger as this has got its own safety mechanism to prevent putting you in danger. Fair enough. <coughs> It's still not one though that I would use because it does have plenty of overhang. Like, literally, that is li the overhang for the tank. Well, I mean, it's not too annoying. Back when it was out, the, yeah, the diameter, I believe, was smaller of the tanks. Don't quote me on that. I'm not an expert. This is just my opinion. And, um,. I'm pretty sure though that came out about the time that Square atomizers. Yeah. Yeah, you are able to get atomizers Square. Came I never out. use it. Um, I, I I've seen one that I really do want to get to try. It's an RDA Square RDA. Oh, that sounds weird, but I would give it a try, but never use it for definite. Yeah, but then it's made by the same company that makes a mech that I want to build. Oh, okay. Then. So, um, <laughs> it's going to look stupid as hell on the mech. I'd probably yeah. just get the Tesla out or my uh, Vupu Drag, I think it would look nice on. Uh, but that's for future okay, well, videos. I'm probably going to end it here because it's a long enough video as it is. And it's going to be a pain in the ass to edit. So. And we're both fucking shattered. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace.